Welcome back to Sims Complete. I'm your host, Matt Sims, alongside Phil Sims. And today we're going to be talking about the latest news uh, for this offseason. And we're going to start off with Deion Sanders, prime time. Yes. And some of the comments that he have made recently regarding the NFL draft, for not this year's NFL draft, but for next year's NFL draft, uh, talking about his son and uh, his projection potentially. Big Phil. You know, with with the the comments that Dion has said, where Shadour is only playing in certain, certain. locations, <laughs> he's not playing. He's not playing in the cold weather, that's for sure. So we know yeah. that. Uh, but your thoughts uh, on Dion Sanders and his, uh, I guess, you know, setting the tone for his son for next year already in, in the draft. Yeah, um, I'll start out with this phrase or this wording. I didn't like what he was saying. I loved it. I did. I really okay. loved it. Um, you know, what I would, what I, I guess I would wish that he would have waited till next off season to say it because it would have the same effect, but now he said it so early, you know, people are going to talk about it all season, but, um, <laughs> I, I, but I'll say this, he's the father, Shador, his son, uh, he's coached him in high school, in college down at Jackson state. And of course now in Colorado and, you know, Matt, you, you and I talk about this all the time. Quarterbacks in all situations now, the pros, the college, even high school, it, you know, the father, people around that quarterback, they have to help manage him. Right. And it, it's so important. It, there's so much competition, so much focus and spotlight on the quarterback position that you need somebody there to help guide you along in that process. And look, there's not going to be many out there better than Deion Sanders doing this. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. I mean, Deion, what he's able to do as far as, you know, keeping, I feel like, the energy and the buzz about the Colorado Buffaloes, about his, his own sons, uh, the star players that he had there in Colorado, you know, he, he keeps it fresh. He's always, he's always got them in the news. You know, he's kind of like the Kardashians in a way. You know, it's like it doesn't matter what happens, man. Like there's always something to kind of talk about with one of the Sanders sons right now or with Prime himself. And, uh, and there's a certain power to that, right? Now, Absolutely. at times, I think people do get a little, you know, that that oversaturated feeling of there's always something going on. But I think he also understands, too, just the entertainment aspect of it. He's a unique voice right of now. Course. He, you know, is whether you love him or you hate him, he's super authentic. He's comfor comfortable with who he is. And <laughs> say so. He he did the same exact thing even when he was a football player coming out in the draft. Right. I mean, he was basically saying, like, yeah, uh, how was the story goes? He told the story about how one team called me. He's like, hey, man, that's great that you like me and you want to draft me, but I won't be there when when you pick. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, I think he understands just uh, the game within the game very well. Right. I think he understands, too, that, you know, ultimately the only one that's going to protect his son, you know, first and foremost uh, is, him. It, is him, is himself. Yeah. And yeah. I think he understands that part of it extremely well. Um, well, let me is, say this. Yeah, yeah go, ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I just want to say, uh, look, I've have followed his son and Dion yeah. in his coaching career and, and Shador's playing career. I saw him on TV a couple of times, I think, uh, yeah. when he was in high school. And I was like, okay, you know, he's kind of got the look, but I, I didn't come away going, wow, he's going to be a pro quarterback. Then I saw him down at Jackson state. And I thought it was a little rough as a course as a freshman, nothing yeah. extravagant, but it's amazing. Not amazing, but he has definitely just gotten better every time I've seen him. And then I thought last year at times watching play for Colorado, uh, I just said, wow, he's a pro quarterback and not only a pro quarterback, a quarterback, a pro quarterback is going to be drafted high. Yeah, so. for sure. He definitely has a lot of the talents and the attributes that you look at that you want to see in a pro quarterback and a high caliber pro quarterback. Right. Um, you know, the the whole discussion about Jaden Daniels this offseason and his frame and those things, those oh. I think some of those questions will come up for Shadur as well because he is also a a slimmer frame type of player. But you know, you and I, we have said this multiple times on this show when we discuss quarterbacks, we just don't give a damn anymore. You know, if you can play, you can <laughs> play. And you know, it's up to the quarterback too in protecting himself as much as it is the coaching staff protecting him too. And uh, I'm sure that's what a lot of evaluators, too, this year will be excited to see for Shador 
right? And the Colorado offense as a whole. Shador took a lot of hits last year. Some of them were because the offensive line play was subpar. Some of them were because he's trying to create because they're in shootout type of games. So I think a lot of evaluators will be kind of looking and queuing in that to see if he improves in that field, to see, too, if even the coaching staff improves in that field, too, and protecting him and being more creative in the offense and making sure that he's not taking that many unnecessary hits. Um, Good thrower in the pocket, real tall. He's long-limbed. He does a really good job throwing the football down the field. He moves well. He's not like a super agile, you know, creator yeah. with his feet, but he's he's good, he's good enough. He's good enough. And, he can uh, time to throw the ball. That's yeah. you know what you always. He can escape enough, not looking right. to run for big yards. He's looking to throw the ball, but he's he he is good at that. And he's like you said, getting a lot of experience in that um, for that talent out there in Colorado because he yeah. was on the run a lot last year. No doubt. And and listen, this is where we've had this conversation multiple times about quarterbacks. When you go through and watch the doors, you know, tape for next year, for next year's draft and go through with his evaluation process, there's going to be one thing that's very noticeable. He's played a lot of football and that's always a benefit to, I think, anyone who's evaluating. You're going to be able to start from Jackson State all the way through Colorado and see a ton of snaps, a ton of throws. And you're, it's going to be an easy process for that regard because you're going to see the growth at the position and not one of those one and done type of football players. Yeah. Well, that offense again this year will be around him. They got a new offensive line. So I just thought it was interesting that Deion yeah. Sanders brought this up. And I said, we need to talk about that because uh, it doesn't bother me. It, if it was me, I wish I'd have done something like that, but uh, I would do it before the senior year, not before their right after their junior year. Yeah, or, I, I didn't right. say that right. After his senior year, so when he's getting right. ready for the draft. So right. he put the message out there early. Uh, that'll be talked about a lot once this season's over, and we'll see how it goes.